So I'm, I'm at the stage now where the um, ceiling is pretty much all sand, sanded and filled. Uh, so the GRP liner is um, pretty much ready for painting. Um, there was a fair bit of sanding and filling to do. Bits like that, loads and loads of little holes everywhere. Um, and I'm now working on the inside, obviously, um, on the timber. Um, the thing is with this is that typical of these sort of year of boat, they're a plywood door with a, a veneer finish so that you can wear through that veneer. That's not actually the plywood. Um, that's a veneer on, laid on top of the plywood. And pretty much the same for the, uh, the bulkheads and everything else. There is obviously these posts. This is, this is a solid solid hardwood post as is the top here and the sides and the mast supports and the trim a lot of the trim is, is, is solid but the actual doors um, the bulkheads they're a veneer so the problem with that is how do you how do you deal with it well firstly the holes I needed to there was loads and loads of screws everywhere accumulated over 40 45 odd years um, so it was to remove the screws um, down here there was uh, I, obviously a lot of these were self-inflicted I put these screws in to support the battery tray you know, the battery compartment that I've built inside the cupboard um, and a little bit of care at the time I would could have saved myself a job but I, I basically had to unscrew all of the screws I fitted um, and then uh, bore out the holes so they would they would lay um, beneath the surface of the wood which has then allowed me to fill it with this uh, filler so now it's all done the next job is going to be the sanding now as I said the problem with the sanding is I need to be careful I don't go through the veneer to the plywood so it has to be a light you know a light sanding I'm using um, a 500 500 grit pad on the uh, on the air sander I know, I know a lot of you show an awful lot of interest into sanding and I could sit here for ages and ages talking about sanding but I wouldn't want to bore you um, but so what I did want to show you was I found this this is a, a scouring sponge used for washing up um, it's supposed to be non-scratch but uh, it's got like um, stainless metal fibre in there which apparently doesn't rust um, and I just experimented it on it with the sanding and you can see these are still proud so they so and it's actually pretty effective as you can see it rubs that filler down to the hole and it still maintains the veneer it you know we'll probably have to have a light sanding afterwards with a a 500 or 320 but um, definitely does the job um, but I'll compare that now to using the sander with the five yeah that's 500 grit uh, I've got it on a slow space setting so it's not high speed sorry Obviously does it a bit quicker and again doesn't go down to the to the veneer or past the veneer shall I say um, which will allow me that to allow me to um, varnish that once it's all sanded. I'm gonna have to sand all of it. Um, so although this is a good idea for little jobs, small jobs, if you don't want to set up a compressor and a sander and everything else, um, that's a, that's a real good piece of kit, so I'm gonna keep hold of that. Um, I'm sure that'll come in handy. But uh, for the meantime, I'll crack on with the sanding and uh, let you know how I get on. 